chief whip of the Nigerian Senate, Senator Oji Kalu, was one of the first politicians to commiserate with members of the Synagogue Church of All Nations on the death of their leader, Prophet T.B. Joshua. Kalu, in a condolence message issued in Abuja on Sunday, June 6, the day after Joshua's death, mourned the televangelist and stressed that he will be greatly missed by his followers. Joshua will be remembered as a notable spiritual leader with passion for empowering the poor and vulnerable in the society, Kalu said. According to the former Abia state governor, the disease was popular beyond the shores of Nigeria. We mourn him. His death is shocking and painful. He was committed to spreading the gospel of God through his religious and philanthropic platforms. Pastor Joshua was simple, kind-hearted, generous and easygoing. He played a key role in human capital development through philanthropy and counseling. His demise has no doubt left a big vacuum in the synagogue, Kalu stated. He however urged the congregation to take solace in the fact that Joshua contributed immensely to the growth of the church and the larger community by touching lives positively. He also conveyed his condolences to the government and people of Ondo State over the loss of their son and prayed for the eternal repose of his soul. Kalu and members of his family were close to Joshua while the cleric was alive. The politicians visited the evangelist on a number of occasions, one of which was with Ovation Media Chairman Dele Momodu in 2014. Joshua, however, denied reports in December 2020 that he predicted Kalu would be Nigeria's next president. Some media reports quoted Joshua as saying during a church service that President Muhammad Buhari's successor would be a former governor from the southern part of the country who was held in prison. Joshua described it as fake news, saying he had been at his prayer mountain when the statement was purportedly made.